Hello, I'm Lawrence Anthony, and in this video I'm going to explain how to use the Anconc Concordance Plot Tool. Okay, uh, another video shows how to download Anconc and get started with the software, so I'm just going to go in and uh, get started by loading in the journalism or press subcorpus of the brown corpus, which is a million word corpus of general English, and do some analysis on that. So first I'm going to go to File, Open File. I need to navigate to my uh, corpus. I'm going to use the brown corpus uh, untagged, and I'm going to select A, B, and C, which are the press or journalism subcategories. Then I'm going to go to the Concordance Plot Tool, and I'm ready to start. Now the Concordance Plot Tool offers identical search features to the Concordance Tool, except that the results are displayed a little bit differently. So for example, if I type in the word report, as we've done in previous videos, and hit start, you can see that we have 42 hits, but we also see now which files from the corpus they appear in, and we can also see where they appear in the file. So the file length is reflected in this box, and the file length is normalized for each file. You can see actually that the file lengths are a little bit different here. We can also see the number of hits in each file. So 27 in the first file, 14 in the second file, and one in the third. And this gives you an idea of the dispersion of the search word across the files and in the files. So for example, if I um, replace report with reported, we can see the, the first file has a few more of those hits, and uh, the second file has a fairly even distribution of the word reported. But if I type in the word editor, we can see a quite unusual result. And the second file has a lot of hits all clustered in the middle here, in fact 39. So we know now that there are 43 hits for editor. Uh, they occur in all three texts, so the total plots is three. We, uh, some people may call that the range of the search. And if you want to see uh, what, where that hit appears in the file, or what it, uh, what is surrounding that word in the file, we can move our cursor and click on the result and find where that appears in the file view tool. If we go back to plot, you'll notice, of course, that this is very dense and it's difficult to see the different hits. So at the bottom here, we have the plot zoom option, and if we click that, we can actually zoom in and see those hits and pick exactly the one that we're interested in. For example, here. Let's go back to the regular zooms. Now with the uh, concordance plot tool, we don't have any sort options, which wouldn't make any sense here. We also have no tool preferences, so it's a quite simple tool. Uh, however, we can do all the searches as we did with the concordance tool. So, for example, if I go back and search for government here, I can find that government appears across the first two um, texts, but it's quite rare in the third. I can go back and look at other words that I've been searching for. Uh, for example, I can look for the word law. I can see that this word appears in the first two texts, but doesn't appear at all in the third. So the, the uh, total plot score is two. That means a range of two. We can also do case searches or regex searches. We can also do advanced searches as we've done before. For example, we can uh, load in a file and do a file search like this.
and we now have 114 hits across all three files. There are a couple of limitations with this tool. You'll notice that there isn't a uh, clone results button on the right, so uh, it's not as easy to compare results. Also, there is no save option for this uh, tool. If you want to save the results for this tool, you would have to um, take a screenshot. Uh, for example, I would launch the Windows snipping tool and then I would select the results that I'm interested in like this and then I can copy these and paste them into a word processor to tool or some other tool. So that's the concordance plot tool. Thank you.